did you, in your, I mean, you sat down and really thought about it, did you think you would be back three weeks later talking about the final two? Uh, no, not really. Um, but, you know, I'm appreciative for everything that's happened uh, for our team and for our coaching staff and for all our fans uh, to get us back to where we are. And, you know, I couldn't be happier for, uh, you know, our freshmen for what they've done for us and uh, how much they've matured this season. And uh, just for our veteran guys finally stepping up and uh, playing like they, like they know how to play. Josh, how would you describe the difference between exactly a year ago and today in your life? Uh, complete 180, I'd say. Uh, you know, last year I didn't play at all. Uh, just sat and watched. Uh, you know, it was still fun, though, because we were 38 and 3, or 35 and 3. But, uh, you know, I had fun last year. But this year has just been a. Uh, I guess a dream, I guess a dream come true, you know, we're in the Final Four, uh, you know, I'm playing significant minutes, um, help my teammates win games that I never thought I'd be able to do, and uh, it's just, it's been a, a great ride, and uh, I'm planning on continuing a little longer. What's it like when you look at the tape and see yourself working against Sollinger and getting things done, or working against uh, Zeller and getting things done, what's that like to see yourself doing these things? Uh, it, it's cool just uh, seeing you play against great big men like them and uh, being successful and uh, being able to, I guess, guard them and not let them, you know, just take over the game and uh, being able to match them uh, step for step on what they do and you do. And, uh, and one of, especially when a lot of people doubt you the whole time saying, you know, they're, they're going to get killed on the inside and you can't guard him and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, all that I just use motivation and, uh, you know, energy to come out and play harder. So I, I like when people say that about me because it makes me want to come out and compete. What do you think it says? What do you think it says about your work ethic? Um, I didn't really. Uh, I've always had a work ethic, but uh, I really didn't use it much. I guess for my first two years here, <laughs> but, uh, you know, they brought it out of me this year, and uh, I've I've, to, uh, I've worked so hard, and uh, my work ethic's been something that hasn't been since high school, and. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to get it back, and uh, I plan on keep working this hard, you know, until I'm done playing. Why is that? Because uh, you know, uh, there's opportunities now, uh, a lot of opportunities to, you know, get to the next level, and uh, you know, a lot of a lot of talk, and uh, so I'm just gonna keep doing the little things I do, and the you know, the hard work and dedication I've been giving out this year, and hopefully I can make the most of it next year. Josh, has this three weeks changed the way you've looked at like a professional future? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, everybody's always said you got the ability, you know, you got the size, you got the hands, you got the feet, uh, you know, you can shoot the ball. So I've, everybody's always told me I've had the ability, but now I've, I've got the, you know, the hard work to go with it. And, uh, you know, just everybody's telling me now you, I, can, I can make money at the next level, you know, somewhere. So I'm definitely uh, going to keep my hopes high for the next level. But, uh, you know, right now we're just, I'm just focused on UConn and then I'm just going to let things happen from there. Can you, you point out one thing maybe you've done differently here over the last you know, couple of months in your game that's led to the success you've had? Um, just, I'd say just my confidence level and uh, my determination. Because, um, you know, it's my senior year. Any game can be my last game this year. So I'm just trying to make my season last as long as I can. Um, and I'm doing whatever I have to do for my teammates to make us win. How much of that was going against Ennis every day in practice? Uh, that helps a lot. Confidence. Yeah, that helps a lot because uh, going against him every day, he's making me a better player uh, every day in and out. Um, just competing against him, doing drills with him, even if I'm not even going against him, just uh, watching him uh, do something. You know, I'm trying to match what he does, and uh, just doing that makes me more confident. And uh, being able to stop him in practice and playing against him every day, playing against the best of the best, uh, just makes me go into every game knowing that you know I'm not going to play somebody as good as Ennis. What well, I was going to ask you that: How does Ennis? The competition you get from him compared to Sullinger, Zeller, and, and Oriaki. Uh, they're all they're all different in so many ways. Um, you know, Jerry Sullinger, he's a he was he was a real a big guy. Uh, knew how to use his body really well, and uh, he was a good finisher around the rim. Um, you know, Oriaki's a really explosive guy, um, real strong, uh, physical. And uh, Zeller, you know, he's he's taller than him, seven foot. Uh, he runs the floor like almost better than every big man I've ever seen run. Uh, he's a great athlete, and uh, Ennis is kind of like all three of those guys combined on one. Um, you know, he can he, he can run the floor. He's, he's not seven foot, but he can run the floor. Uh, he he's bi he has a big body, knows how to use it, and uh, you know he can even step out and uh, shoot the 15, 70 foot like Zeller can. So he's, he's kind of like all three of them combined on one, and he's just going against him just uh, gives me a different advantage, I think, coming to games. Josh, there was a sense when uh, Ennis was ruled ineligible that you know, oh man, this you know. 
they're they're screwed for lack of a better word. Did you take that personally? I mean, was, I'm, did you hear it? And if so, did you say, "Hey, man, I mean, I'm still six foot ten and I can do things." Uh, a little bit, uh, you know, kind of. I guess it kind of got me down a little bit, but uh, you know, I, I I wanted to play more than anybody. I think uh, you know maybe maybe Coach Cal wanted to play a little more than me, but uh, I was right there with him. You know, I, I would have gave him anything for him to come out and play, but um, he got ruled ineligible, and then you know from there I just I got better as the season went on. You know, a lot of people are happy now that he didn't play because uh, you know I've, I've taken uh, full full advantage of my opportunity and. I've uh, done a lot of great things with it, and I'm sure a lot of people are happy now that he couldn't play, but uh, I'm st I still wish he could have.